What is next? The Bedini motor. The Bedini motor, you know, the Bedini motor is like the holy grail of the free energy freaks. It couldn't be simpler. A battery drives a motor which spins up a flywheel, which charges wire coils, which in turn recharge the battery. And bingo, a perpetual motion or over unity machine. It's important to keep an open mind and realize that all the principles that drive the over unity machines operate outside of everything you've ever heard about science. <laughs> what did they do wrong? Well, for starters, there were no magnets on the flywheel. They just ran this out of the blue, but it was only after there were four or 500 people on this SG group, you know, that were starting to build these monopole motors and starting to get results with the motor working and they seen that I was charging the battery and doing the mechanical work. Just in about the middle of this, all of a sudden out comes this myth. It has nothing to do with a schoolgirl motor. It's something that was done in 1984. It's something that Watson proved without a shadow of a doubt that it operated because he isn't here anymore. You know, where that went, nobody knows. But uh, it had nothing to do with the uh, schoolgirl motor. But yet here they come, right at the peak of the schoolgirl motor. You know, here, we're going to get this guy. You know, we're going to come out with this program and disprove that this thing, it just doesn't work. Well, yeah, you could see that it didn't work. The coils weren't wound right. The motor wasn't right. You know, there were no magnets on it. The mass wasn't even, there was nothing on this thing that remotely resembled what Watson did or what I did. It was just a mismatch. It was a Rube Goldberg machine is what it was. Never did they contact anybody. And they did it on national TV just to discredit the whole thing. That's my opinion of it. You know, and, and there never was any kind of comment. And you couldn't even, you couldn't send them an email, you couldn't do anything. Why don't you do this correct? There was none of that. It was just, we're going to just disprove this and see it doesn't work, folks. Here it is. Of course it didn't work. Didn't even have any magnets on it. And, 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 the, and the most unique thing about the Mythbusters is, is they had some MIT professor standing there that knew better. You know, that knew that this thing wasn't going to generate anything because he left out the magnets. You know, there was nothing to go by the coils, nothing, no energy to be generated, just a waste of energy. MIT's Dr. Gio Holmesy has been helping the guys by assembling the contraption. And with his pedigree, they're quickly in business. Free energy, man. Here we go. Activate the modulator. Modulator activated. A modulator switches the motor on and off, so preserving power while the flywheel keeps on spinning. In theory, replenishing the battery. Okay, it's spinning up. I can hear it getting slower. <laughs> yeah, it seems to be. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't think I need a meter for this one. <laughs> In a sudden burst of free energy, the Bedini machine runs down. Sounds like my grandfather. Oh, getting sick. It's draining more from the battery on each cycle than it's putting back in when it recharges. That's the one big problem with perpetual motion machines. They're not perpetual. Over unity, huh? That's an efficiency of over 100%. Kind of makes you feel all warm and fuzzy inside, don't it? If you mean it makes me feel like I feel about the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus, yeah, that kind of warm and fuzzy, because it's a fantasy!